Hello everyone, welcome to Movie Review UK, my name's MJ and today I'm going to be discussing my choices for the cast of IT Chapter 2. I saw the movie last night, I thought it was absolutely tremendous and I thought that above all other things in the film the characters were absolutely fantastic and of course as we look towards the next chapter, which should be out in a couple of years, we think about who they might cast. I'm going to start off with the most obvious one, and I think that's the role of Beverly Marsh. Played by Sophia Lillis in the 2017 first chapter, the obvious choice is Amy Adams. She looks so similar that it just seems like an absolute given. Next up, we look over to really the main character, which is Bill, and I was not influenced by the actor that I choose being called Bill, uh, but I'm chosen Bill Hader, and it's because I think he can give, well, not only does he look the part, you could definitely see him being an older version of Jaden Lieber, if I've pronounced that correctly, but he has like this almost nerdy quality to him as well, which of course we've seen in many of Bill Hader's other roles. Next up, we've got the role of Ben Hanscom, and I would give this to Zach Galifianakis. You could obviously go down the route that Ben isn't always a chubby individual, but of course I think, having looked at the old film and indeed how he's portrayed in the book, as far as I understand it, uh, he does maintain those physical attributes. And I think Zach Galifianakis, you know, fits the right age, he has a good look to him, you could definitely see him being an older version of Jeremy Ray Taylor, and I think that he has the um, the kind of width in quality and talent that he'd be able to pull off this role. In chapter one, Ben comes across as a fairly shy individual, but with a lot of intelligence to him as well, and I'm sure that Zach could pull that off. Next up, we've got Richie, of course played by Finn Wolfhard in chapter one, who is kind of a certainly a fan favourite with his recent roles including, of course, Stranger Things. And I've gone for quite a bold choice here. I've gone for James McAvoy. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to look at when actually thinking about the cast for this new film was who looks the part, first and foremost. I think that's very important. Uh, and second, who are my favourite actors or who do I think are just incredible actors that could bring a lot to the role? And then finally, of course, which character traits can I see being portrayed by these older actors and James McAvoy I think split his showness the absolute range he has and the talent uh, and I think that he could definitely play the kind of almost wise cracking elements that Richie is in the group and uh, yeah I think he certainly looks the part as well just needs to grow his hair a bit and get some glasses moving over to Mike Hanlon and I think that the character in the original or when I say the original, or the 2017 version. Uh, he has a certain amount of gravitas that he brings to the role. He's got charisma, fairly quiet individual, um, slightly recluse. Uh, you could argue that the character isn't given too much development in this film, uh, and hopefully it's a character that we do explore more in the sequel. Uh, but I think, uh, based on those attributes, I think Chitterwill Ejiofer, and again, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, uh, I think he'd do a great job. He certainly looks the part and I think he definitely displays all of the qualities that I just mentioned. I think this one's going to be one of my more controversial picks, the role of Eddie. I've gone for Keanu Reeves. Uh, you could argue that perhaps Keanu Reeves is a little bit old, um, but I think actually in terms of looks, I think he looks the part, uh, especially with his current kind of John Wick look with the longer hair. He certainly looks the part. And as we see in Chapter 1, uh, Eddie has got a certain amount of a spark to him like an inner fire and of course this is something that Keanu Reeves has displayed time and time again and then finally we look at the role of Stanley uh, this was the hardest one for me uh, first I was kind of thinking uh, quite quite blankly I wanted someone with curly hair um, and with the right color hair uh, so I was thinking people like Jesse Eisenberg uh, perhaps Bradley Cooper perhaps Jude Law um, but I actually ended up on Nikolai Costa Waldu from Game of Thrones, of course, Jamie Lannister. I should mention that I've not actually read the book, but I've heard some, or I've heard, a, you know, a lot about it. And I understand that there's a lot that goes on with this character uh, in the kind of adult sections of the book. Uh, and thus will be translated into the film. So again, I think that the fiery passion that Nikolai shows on Game of Thrones could definitely be translated well into some of the more interesting character aspects 
with Stanley. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'd be really intrigued to hear who your picks would be, or if you think I've totally missed the mark on any of my choices. Thanks again for watching, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more.